This Avid Jumpstart video covers installing and setting up uControl software. Let's go. Installing the software is simple. Download the latest uControl version to your computer and proceed. If you don't have the installer, go to your Avid account at avid.com forward slash account and download the installer from there. If you don't have an Avid account, now's a good time to create one. If you've purchased a uControl enabled control surface or the Pro Tools control app for iPad, Register it to your account and the download link will be made available in your account or in the Avid Application Manager. On OS X or Windows, open the uControl disk image or zip file by double-clicking it. The mounted disk image should open a window that includes the Install uControl package. Double-click that. When prompted, select Continue and Agree to the terms of the software licensing agreement, then allow the installer to complete the installation on your system drive. uControl will auto-launch upon completed installation. That's it for software installation. To set up the software, make sure the control surface is either connected directly or using a gigabit ethernet switch to your computer. Power on your surface or surfaces and restart your computer to allow for the DHCP addresses to be assigned to your surfaces. If uControl hasn't automatically opened, open it now. Bring the uControl settings window to the front and you should see your uControl enabled devices on a list on the left and if they haven't automatically connected, Select the surface name on the left and press Add. Once in the column of My Surfaces, you are connected and ready to go. Hint, setting uControl to open on login is a nice time saver. Placing a shortcut on the desktop or in the OS X dock is quite useful if you have to restart the application manually. In uControl settings, if the connected surface will not add to the My Surfaces list or is not appearing in either list, check your network settings on your computer. In the System Preferences or Device Manager, Open the uControl Preferences panel and verify the proper Ethernet port has been selected under Network Interface. In your network settings, the port assigned to uControl should be in DHCP Auto Mode, allowing the computer or external router to assign the IP addresses of the connected devices. If this is not the case, reboot your devices and your computer after changing to DHCP Auto Mode. Installing and setting up uControl is a simple, straightforward exercise that needs to be done only once, and any future update to the uControl software will retain these settings.